Hello, English 11. I want to thank you for all the different stories you researched and all the various perspectives of the American dream. I really meant what I said in that email that I was just overwhelmed with the depth of thought and the variety of perspectives and stories that you all brought to the table. Uh, hopefully you all saw a lot of different things um, that represent what the American dream is. Although, yes, it started out as immigration, but it really has evolved into more than just you know, people coming to America uh, to find a better way of life. Certainly that was the genesis of the American dream, but as you've clearly articulated in your stories, it has evolved into much more than just that. So here's what we're going to be doing next. Um, typically with English 11 classes, especially with um, some of the other teachers that teach English 11, they've had students read different novels like The Great Gatsby or Of Mice and Men because they portray some of these American Dream perspectives that you've already researched. Uh, although those are great books in their own right, um, I've always felt it was more powerful for all of us to spend some time investigating and articulating what your own American dreams are, what goals you have in life. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be spending this week where you um, are going to investigate what goals you have out of your life. What American dreams do you have? And then next week, you're going to be building a presentation to eventually share with me so that way I can see what goals you have um, for your life. So for a lot of you, you'll probably want to start by revisiting that Transcendentalism essay you wrote a long time ago in the second quarter because this was a topic that we kind of investigated a little bit in second quarter. Uh, other people are just going to start invest, you know, doing some self-reflection and investigating what they want out of their own lives, and you'll take it from there. Regardless of where you start from, there are a lot of different things I want you to think about this week. And some of the things you're going to think about, um, you just need to do, like I said, some self-reflection, some soul-searching on what it is you want. Other things you're going to need to do, to do a little bit of research. So here are the topics I'm going to want you to investigate this week. First of all, I want you to def uh, be able to define exactly what you have as an American dream and why you have that as an American dream, okay? From there, um, what kind of a timeline are you looking at to accomplish whatever goal or dream you have with your life? Uh, are there different benchmarks along the way that you hope to accomplish? Like, what do you hope to accomplish by the time you graduate high school? What do you hope to accomplish like within five to 10 years after graduating high school? What do you hope to accomplish by the time you're middle age, by the time you're of retirement age? Whatever it, it might be. So what are some different benchmarks along the, um, the way? What are different roadblocks that you think you're gonna have to overcome in order to achieve your goal? Is Those are some of the things you might have to kind of research and think about, the different roadblocks along the way. What will you have for support systems is, is another topic you're going to want to investigate. Like, what will be there to help you achieve your goal, or who will be there to help you achieve your goal? A um, couple other things. Uh, number one, how do you think your life will be impacted once you do accomplish that goal? Or maybe, you know, until you achieve it, how do you think your life is going to be impacted. So what kind of impact will this have on you? Um, so you can start with all of those things, defining what it is, why you have this dream, uh, the timeline that you hope to accomplish, the roadblocks along the way that you need to overcome, the support systems that are going to be there to help you, and how you think you'll be impacted. As you research, I'm going to highly, highly recommend anytime you come across a website or a source that is helpful for you, bookmark it or um, maybe copy and paste it into a note or something because eventually when you create your presentation you will be creating an annotated bibliography and you're going to need to remember where um, where your sources were and typically um, you should have at least three different sources of information as you do your research this week so research what your american dream is this week you're going to fill out a google form that i have in the email that just lets me know where you're started where you're heading in and then in this um assignment and i'll be able to take your attendance for the week in that one google form and then next week you will be creating a presentation based on a template that i have um created for you to help you create what it is you need to do uh, for your presentation there will be some additional slides in the presentation that we'll talk about on next week because it's it's stuff that will go above and beyond what you've already researched and that'll kind of help you 
give a more complex picture of what your American dream is. So as always, when you have questions about this, if you have questions, please email me. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be happy to address what those are. But for now, start thinking about what you want out of your life. What is your American dream? Why is it your dream? How are you going to accomplish it? When, what's your timeline going to be? What roadblocks do you have to overcome? What support systems will you have? All those kinds of things. And do some research and some um, brainstorming and some reflection on those kind of items this week. So next week, you can start telling me all about it. Thanks, everyone. Please email me any questions you have. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye.